Okay. I'm recording from my phone. So excuse me if I keep looking because I'm looking at myself now. But I'm looking at the camera now. Does it look noticeable when I'm not looking at the camera? Like, does it look more weird when I look at the camera or when I look at me? <sighs> I don't know. Okay. What up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. And today I am back on another video. So, um, today I'm going to just go ahead and do a little something different. I just wanted to kick off the entrepreneur videos finally. Um, if you haven't watched my last video, I'll leave the link somewhere above me um about tips on how to start a business i gave some free game i talked about how i started my business and the downsides of being a business owner but within that video i did give a lot of tips on how to start a business and steps you should take to make sure your business is on the right track so honestly what made me want to do this video right quick well not right quick because i feel like i'm about to be dropping some gems <laughs> But what made me want to do this video is um, people always ask about the story of k Roy Couture, about the steps I took to take a business, and I just feel like, um, I just feel like nothing wrong with sharing that information. Of course, I'm not going to share every little detail because I had to go through stuff to grow through stuff, so I feel like if you want to start a business, you need to know that some things you just have to go through to grow through. So let's start it off what made me want to honestly record this video today is what happened was so today i decided to go ahead and market um i was like okay i'm gonna spread the word a little bit more about my business it's a new semester new people on campus just interact with people a little bit more so i passed out my business cards around campus and just let people know hey um my name is McKaylin. I'm a business owner. I do custom t-shirts, but I'm also doing a cosmetic line. And then I had swatches on my arm. You can still kind of see them, but they've been rubbing on my shirt all day. Um, I had swatches on my arm. Like, yeah, these are some swatches from my highlighter palettes. I hope to see you beautiful guys in the makeup. Just let me know if you need anything. The information is on the card. And that's what I did. I'm going to leave. Um, Right now, I'm going to just go ahead and insert some little clips of what I was doing because I tried to vlog today but I also said in the vlog that I didn't want to vlog you know going around giving the cards I didn't want to invade people's privacy and I didn't want to post random strangers on YouTube so I'll just leave some clips right about now what up it's Kay and welcome back to my channel and today I am back with another video so um but it's gonna work so basically today what i plan on doing is marketing so um i'm in this group and i'm trying to you know get my follower go up and make more people aware of my business and what i have to offer especially since i'm going to be doing the k Royal cosmetics so today i'm just going to be marketing around campus um i have some swatches on my arm and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to record me going up to the people because I don't want them to feel like really quick. I just wanted to show you guys um, a better swatch. It's a little bright. So, yeah. Um, I walked up to some girls and I was just like, good morning, guys. Um, I just have a little question for you guys. And um, they were talking about, like, would you guys have to wear makeup and things like that? And they were like, yeah. And um, I said, great. But even if you don't, my name's Michaela. And then the girl was like, hey, are you the girl all, all on Twitter with the makeup and stuff? I said, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much what I did today. So, let's kick it off. I don't know what direction I'm going in this video. I just sat down and was like, I wanted to do this video. I said I was going to do this video. So, let's do this video. So, first of all, as far as marketing goes, um... How I market my business is, of course, I use social media. I use my Instagram, my Facebook, my Snapchat, my Twitter. And I also um, have business cards. I have an email campaign. But honestly, I think I need to be a little more active with my email campaign. Because I know I check my emails frequently. If not anything, I know I'm going to check my email. 
So those are just some ways that you could let people know about your business. You could do the emails, Instagram, the Twitter, Facebook. Um, as far as my personal thing, 71% of my traffic comes from my Instagram account. So I try to mainly, I guess you could say focus on Instagram. I'm trying to do more on Facebook, but if majority of my traffic comes from Instagram, then I think maybe I should just focus on Instagram. I don't know. But this video is really finna be over the place. I ain't writing no notes down. Like I did in the other video, I'm just like, what? <laughs> okay, so to start off, these are my current business cards. It says K Royal Couture in the front, custom apparel accessories. And then the back, it has my name, things I can customize. And then on the left side, it has um the website, the Instagram, and our email. Um, basically, I tried to pass out all of them. I actually ran out on hand. And this little stack is what I have left. Now, I had a hundred of them. I don't know how many this is. I'm actually going to count. So, I had 100 business cards. I'll say maybe mine is 15. And now I have 21 left. And I'll pass out the rest of them um, tomorrow. I'll go to a different area. Today, I decided to market on Kaiser. And I decided to market on Kaiser. Kaiser is like a little brickway, which is kind of by our union a little bit where people just hang out there and i also market it in the union during lunchtime which is where we eat at and then i think tomorrow i'm gonna do some of the avenue and the library okay so first off day i really don't know where i want to go with this y'all i already gave y'all the tips on how to start a business I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm about to be kicking off the entrepreneur vlogs. I'm going to be showing you guys how I package my orders, um, ordering, inventory, things like that. Um, my palettes should be coming in soon. So when they get in, I'll do an unboxing of my new palettes. Um, yeah. And also, as far as this video goes, I did want to talk about what made me want to be a business owner and what made me want to start a cosmetic line so that's really what i wanted to talk about too just to introduce the business side of me a little bit more so what made me want to start a business was um honestly my mom i'm not gonna say not that she convinced me to start a business but my mom is a very hard worker my mom has about like 20 jobs i'm not even i'm not even kidding <laughs> i swear to you she has about um, about 10 i want to say 10 and my mom's a phlebotomist and she works at a hospital she has her main job and then she has like all her little side hospital jobs phlebotomy jobs or whatever like little travel things and then she also has her own businesses so she does wreaths like the little things that go on your door i'm saying that wrong she does wreaths wreaths Reese. she does that <laughs> and she does everything edible so she dips strawberries she does tables for parties she does um easter baskets holiday things things like that growing up in a house with my mom seeing her do all these things and never necessarily hearing her complain about oh I don't have money to do this I don't have money for you to do this it was always like if I needed something she was gonna get it for me by any means and honestly um her drive sorry my leg itching. her drive and her motivation is what kind of made me be like okay I want to be like my mom like I even then like um, my mom works in the medical field. I was like, I want to work in the medical field. I mean, I don't want to be as deep as I used to. I used to want to be an x-ray tech, but I don't want to do that anymore. I'm a psychology major, but I still do want to somehow work um, in the medical field. And I do want to work in the mental health field. And I was like, okay, I want to be like my mom. 
I see her working. I want to work as hard as her. I want to have that drive. I want to have that motivation. And I first started my own kind of business, which was K Royal. K Royal. My first kind of business was the Royal. What was it? My first business name was Royal Creations. Now, when I first started that business, I was mainly doing decals and t-shirts. And that was about it. Um, Di had just bought me my silhouette machine. Di and my mom bought me my silhouette machine. And when I first started doing it, I was using an iron. I didn't have a press. I actually just got my press the second time I relaunched. I used the ironing board, the iron, and that would take forever, especially with like bigger designs. I had bulk orders. I was doing designs for um a company for a guy. He worked for a company and I was doing his work shirts and then he told the company and I was doing work shirts for them. That's how I originally became a business owner. I want to say I probably had that because I was at LSUE when I had that business. So I was like a freshman so i had a business for three years going on four probably next year because i i started school in 2016 and i'm graduating 2019 i've been in college for three years and then next year will be four years so yeah boom that's what made me want to become a business owner what made me not give up on my business when it failed is that um like I said in the last video, I had these high expectations that I was just going to start a business and then everybody was going to buy it and then boom. And it wasn't like that the first go around. Um, I could have gave up. I could have quit. I could have been like, whatever, forget the money that I lost. Um, I'm done with it. Honestly, I still have some of the merchandise from my first launch. Um, I honestly want to throw it away so bad, but I'm like, girl, you pay for this. <laughs> I was doing it for five dollars but i'm pretty much over it but yeah i didn't give up when i failed i wanted to learn more that honestly i could have gave up i cried i was like this sucks nobody likes me <laughs> but like i said in the video um being a business owner an important thing to do is get your mind off of the fact that your friends and your family and your hometown people will be your best customers because they won't they won't um i can count on how many i mean i've actually had a good bit of people from my hometown buy but for the most part majority of my customers i don't know who they are i don't know where they came from they came via word of mouth i have people um in memphis i had people in virginia I had people in army bases like those weren't my family and my friends so that's important to remember i'm gonna keep saying that i'll probably say that in every video it's important to remember that your friends and your family will not support you as much as you think they will not that they don't want to but some people may be jealous some people might just not necessarily want to support you. Or it also could be the simple fact that you're not selling what they want. But um, I think I heard someone say once that they won't support you because it's like they know who you are. So it's like, a oh, they think they're better than everybody because they got that little business or whatever. Like stuff like that. Also, in being a business owner, I definitely recommend staying organized. I have a lot of files on my computer. I have an Excel spreadsheet of my budgeting, what I'm spending, what's coming into my business. And then I'm also going to start working on paying myself because I necessarily wasn't paying myself. I was just, I don't know. That's like I said, like I was making money, but I don't know where it went. I think I just kept using it as re-up money and not necessarily like, okay, you need to pay yourself like i i don't know i didn't necessarily think about that but i also have this binder because i like to physically write things down in so in this binder i have um this is my lash stuff for my lashes like my lash names um the design of my packaging and then i also wrote down i can't see this i don't even try to see all of it I know y'all probably like, girl, you ain't dropped no gems or whatever. 
I don't think my intention was to necessarily drop gems. I think my intention was to just come and share my story and let you guys know what I did. Um, by no means, I'm not an expert. I'm not a pro. I'm not a Nike. I'm not Michael Jordan. I don't have, I have a testimony. Like, of course, I know I'm still growing as an individual and I'm still growing as a business owner and my business is still growing. Um, another thing that I wanted to throw out there is, um, I had someone ask me the other day if, if anyone else was associated with my business because I say we, um, I have no one <laughs> associated with this business. I don't have no business partner. Um, I have a VP, my, um, cousin Kelsey, she's my VP. Uh, I just show her my ideas and get second opinions. I show her what I'm thinking about getting it. I ask her for her input. I always say if you follow me on Twitter or my social media is that whenever I come up, I'm putting her on the payroll and that's period. Like she's helped me so much to this business. And honestly, she didn't have to. She didn't have to stay up late at me. She didn't have to stay up late at night with me, helping me trying to figure out how my packaging should look, stuff like that. So, I definitely appreciate her. But, like I said, I will be doing an unboxing of my makeup palettes and my lashes once they get here, too. I didn't order my lashes yet. And it makes me sad because I can't necessarily post. Like, the pictures that I posted on my Instagram so far was just, um... The pictures I posted on my Instagram so far was just, um... The ones for the giveaway, so except one of them. One of them is actually the lash, but the lashes are not in my packaging. They're not, they're not the ones, like they look like everybody else's. I just want y'all to expect more entrepreneur vlogs from me. I will be sharing more tips. If you guys have any specific questions that you want to ask, anything you want to know, Always feel free to ask questions. I'll tell you as much as I can tell you. And if I feel like I can't tell you or I don't have that information for you, I'll just simply let you know. Um, Like I said, just be on the lookout for more vlogs, unboxing. Um, and then I can't wait to show you guys how I package my orders. But that's it for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.